TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this Wednesday, the 21st of August. We've got the Dow up 92 at 40,925. Still leg B, still in a buy mode, still very strong. Uh, we'll see how we close the day, but so far it's broken out above the Chapman Wave inside track uh, repellent zone, and it's got about another 100 points to go before it hits the resistance level. Now we're looking at the S&P, and the S&P also just popped up. I don't know what the news is. But it hasn't yet taken out yesterday's high. So this could be a peak B if it doesn't go above. I'll give you the number right now. The number is uh, 5,620.53. And so far we had 56,19.38. 56, All right, so that was a leg B and it's a very strong move to the upside. This is really positive. Stochastics at 97.76%. Couldn't ask for more than that. That's fantastic. Q, Q, Q. NDX 100, uh, same as yes, same thing as the S&P hasn't yet taken out yesterday's high. The high is 482.60 so far. Um, it's actually up $1.80. Doing very nicely, but it needs a little bit more. <clears throat> and then it gets into that whole area of the 488 to 489 area, of very strong resistance. we we'll see what happens there. The IWM, which is the Russell 2000, is up uh, 99 uh, up a dollar at 213.69 acting quite well but it needs to get into the 217s we'll see if it's going to be able to do that let's go to the uh, semiconductors the semis are uh, up a dollar 52 haven't taken out the highs of yesterday uh, in the meantime we want to go to gold gold's had a, a fabulous move to the upside today it's down 14 at 25.36 I think it's still going to go higher. It's done very nicely. It's a, it's at, you know, it was all-time highs. Very nice. Looking at the uh, crude oil. Crude oil right now is, what are we doing? We're up a little bit. Yep, up 38 cents. That 38 cents is at, wow, I'm watching that weekly chart. It better hold that uh, support level. If it takes out, it's at 73.57. If it closes under 72, that's a problem. Let's look at bonds. And bonds are down at about unchanged. That's a good sign. I'll be right back for the Tiger Conditions Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.